Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Fallout. Right, <clears throat> so I recorded a session earlier today, which went up today, today being Wednesday. You're probably going to be seeing this on Thursday, but uh, I wanted to do another session. Because <laughs> as you probably have guessed or have heard uh, in the past videos, I'm really enjoying this. So... Uh, Try to keep the momentum up. It's 20 past 10 at night, so rather than do like two 30 minute videos, which would be too long at this time, I might do a 40 minute video, which takes me up until about 11 pm and uh, upload that. And then I might record a session tomorrow and just upload both of the videos tomorrow. Such is how much I really am uh, loving this game right now. So uh, as we ended last session we are here in our very own barracks within the brotherhood compound lost hill bunker or something it was called and uh, i just want to clarify a couple well, one thing particularly we got this ancient brotherhood take the max and log captain maxon yeah might not have been him might have been a, a, rel a relative of him because i was like He's going to be over a hundred, <coughs> um, if that's the same Captain Ma uh, Captain Maxon to this General Maxon, but I think it's a relative uh, on the grapevine, you know. So uh, right, plan for today's session. It might not take forty minutes, but the main plan of today's session is to properly explore this bunker. Because as I, I think I might have mentioned it yesterday, but I was like, once I'd done everything here, I was like, is that it? But we haven't talked to everybody, we haven't inspected everything. So I was kind of thinking, right, we're going to start again today from scratch and just make sure that we've talked to everybody that we can talk to, even whether they're named or not, and um, that we've checked everything out, that we've touched every computer, Look to everything that we can possibly look at before we leave. And then where are we going to go when we leave? Well, we're going to go to the hub to find the missing initiate. That is going to be the top priority. Because everything that we can do to help the Brotherhood, we're going to do it. Because Bob wants to impress. He wants to progress. You know, why can't he be a, a paladin? Or, or, you know, or a, or indeed a, a scribe, if, if the whatever option he's given, uh, and make his way through the ranks to become an established member. Why the hell not? This life looks far more fun than being stuck in a vault. You know what I mean? So uh, he's going to want to try to impress here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head to the hub, find that initiate, come back, and uh, hopefully that will lead us to... Um, to the goodies, to the special stocks that we so uh, vitally crave. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's the plan. So we'll see how far we get with that. Wearing our special armor, of course. Special armor, it's combat armor. Oh, and by the way, I didn't realize until I looked at it after the session, but the, the armor that we've been given is actually slightly different to the armor that we have on. This is combat armor. This is Brotherhood armor. It's a slightly darker green. Difference between the two? I'm not going to mess around with it, but it's the uh, same armor class. The Brotherhood armor, though, has slightly uh, better protections against uh, fire, plasma, and explosion, I believe. And um, it's five pounds heavier. I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought it was exactly the same armor. It's not. It's not. Maybe we should wear it because we're. I don't think they can tell the difference. At a glance, it looks the same. And they're like, is that a slightly lighter shade of green? No, no, no. It's just a bit sun bleached. <clears throat> sure, initiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive. Here on the. Right, we'll start. <clears throat> we'll do it in reverse order this time. We're going to start from the fourth level and work our way upwards. Because we're going to be different. Right, so. We didn't actually speak with any of the elders. Because we were like, oh, we better leave them alone. But no, do you know what? Bob is going to be bold as brass. I don't know if you noticed, but Bob is getting quite... Daring. 
as he's getting more wasteland experience. You know, before when he came, came out of the wastelands, he wouldn't say boo to a goose hardly. You know, uh, he's coming out now and he he gives people back chat. You know, he's he probes with with questions. He's not afraid to ask questions, and he's like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. He's caused uh, offence a couple of times, well, maybe more than a couple in his travels. So he's getting quite uh, quite bold, is our Bobby. It's all coming from a good place, of course. A place of wanting knowledge, basically. Wanting to know everything about everything. It's a bit nosy. But when you've been cooked up in a vault, everything is like, well, I want to know everything about everything. So this is an altar designed and used by the Brotherhood of Steel. Their symbol is brazenly uh, shown. Okay, very brazen. Guard duty is a waste of time. Stay sharp, initiate. It's probably locked. Oh, it's open. This could be bad news. Oh! Greetings, initiate. I need to speak with you. Oh, see, I told you, I told you. Pays to be nosy. Bob had a probably a bit of a catnap in his uh, dormitory, woke up and thought, I'm going to do a bit more exploration today. I feel like I just dipped my toe into the Brotherhood compound yesterday in all my excitement. Now I'm going to be thorough. Uh, <clears throat> about what? There is an urgent matter that I need you to help me with. It's Maxim. We are pretty sure he's gone off the deep end. He keeps babbling about an army massing to the north. I'm not willing to send our troops up there into possibly radiated areas unless I've got absolute proof that this army exists. I need someone who isn't a friend of the old man. Someone I can get an honest report from. Are you willing to check the northern region? Yeah. Good. First talk to Maxon if you haven't already. Report back to me when you've checked the Northern Territory. After that, we'll decide what to do with Maxon. Ooh. Wish me luck. Bob is about to uh, instigate the downfall of Maxon, is he? <laughs> Blindly. An elder sent me. Okay, so it's not come up on the log, so we'll have to remember to do it. Some of the quests don't appear on it, which is a little bit annoying, but, um, you know, just as a rely on our memory banks. <laughs> Seriously, playing this game, a notebook could be useful. So he wants us to go to the north, find a compound, or find evidence of something, and bring it back to him. Or an army, rather, an army. And then come back to him. The... Yeah, the army in the north. Good day, Initiate. Vri has been making some very disturbing discoveries. Now, what's Maxon got to say? I wonder if we can actually talk to Maxon about the fact that we've been sent by one of the elders and see whether or not there's, you know, there's, there's any friction. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's go and speak with old Maxon here. Yeah, there's a crap ton of computers around here, so we're going to just try and press them all. <laughs> touch. There's no signs to say don't touch, are there? What the hell do you want now? Sure. Then get out. Okay, we can't take to talk to him about what's just happened, so... If it, if it brings about his downfall, so be it. Right, this is probably Maxon's personal quarters. I don't think we should really be going there. That's probably a, probably a stretch too far for our, for our nosiness. We haven't got a death wish, you know, or a wish to be expelled from the Brotherhood, so uh, we'll, we'll hang fire on that one. But we will enter this area. Computer consoles. Consoles. Yeah, we're just pressing computer consoles here. Nothing's happening, but uh, yeah, until you've pressed them all, we can't be happy that we've explored everything. Toilet. 
touching mainframe computers, it seems. Uh, the fastest computer, or fastest looking computer you've ever seen. I just imagine Bob standing there gobsmacked for a little while. Look at the size of this thing. Ian, oh, oh it's just a big hunk of metal. This is a super computer. And? Ian, we're going to have to educate you on the art of these things. Because he tosses his knife in the air. Put that knife away and listen to me. It's a computer. Whoopie doo. Is that going to save you when you're walking through the wastes, attacked by all manner of creature, ambushed by raiders? Is your supercomputer stuck here going to help you then, Bob? No, but this will. Fastest knife user. <laughs> knife user. Very catchy title, isn't it? <laughs> Fastest filleter of the West. Turn those raiders into fillets in no time. It'll have to do, okay? Don't worry, uh, Ian, I'll plug it into the supercomputer. Give it... What nickname can we have for somebody that's very good with a knife? Bing, 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 bing. Pick which one you fancy. Right, level three. So this was the library level. Um, we did get some good info out of here, but we just want to double check that we've got everything that we need. And there are consoles here too. We didn't press last time, I don't think, so we'll press them now. Hi, Brother Bob. Hi, Paladin uh, Initiate. Rhombus is my idol. We all like a bit of rhombus action. Research is one of my favourite things to do. I feel like I'm trying to solve a mystery. The algorithm is wrong, that can't be. Something must be wrong with the computer. Can I help you? I'm good with computers. Can I help you? Oh, this is Ree. Sorry about that. Sorry to inter 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 interfere. Uh... Use your Pip-Boy 2000. Okay. I, yeah, we can't get any more um, lessons from her, it seems. You denied access to this computer. And you've already absorbed as much information as you can. There we go. And oh, we didn't speak with the assistant last time either. Uh, I have not seen you here before. Are you lost? May I be of service? I was sent here to ask Vri about the history of the Brotherhood. You didn't get far with that, did you? Vri is too busy with her experiments to care about history anymore. Oh. Well then, can I talk to... Who can I talk to about the history of the Brotherhood? My area of specialty is the Brotherhood's history. It seems that some people around here have forgotten the importance of our history. What could be more important than history? Vri seems to think that the research of new weaponry and the information gathered from mutant autopsies is more important than our history. She has forgotten that our history is a vital part of our lives. It has gotten so bad that many of the new initiates don't even know who Roger Maxson is, or what exactly he did for us. Well, history's good, but weaponry's better. <laughs> but no, whilst we're here, I would like to learn about the Brotherhood's history. Well, it's good to see someone interested in our great history, unlike others around here. Here you go. This is a disc of some of our earliest writings. Thank you. Anyway, uh, what exactly do you do here, apart from give out history discs? I'm Vries' sister. And what do you do? Brotherhood history. Okay. <laughs> Don't you consider the Brotherhood's weaponry to be important? Okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not getting any more info out of her. Oops, wrong button. 
Is this the same holodisc or a different holodisc? Different history. Oh, she was called Sophia. Okay, downloaded to our pit boy. Thank you very much. Let's take a peeky here. Sophia tape. The exodus from the accursed base was a trying time for the men and their families. While there was no radioactive fallout to contend with, they were frequently beset by the fallout of humanity. Roving bands of psychotic marauders attempted several attacks on that noble group. The company itself was in no danger, for they were the armour of power. Members of their families were not so lucky. Once the vermin found out, they were easily repelled. They began to fire on the unarmed civilians from a distance. They took a great many casualties, yet for every member of the Exodus that was struck down in this way, our noble brethren took two lives from the wasteland. Finally, the forefathers came to the safety of the bunker. Captain Maxon, the great deliverer, decreed this to be our new home, and all was well. In the fullness of time, the bunker became our home, our temple, and our salvation from the terrors of the outside world. We began to build and shape our fortress into something glorious, the beauty of which the technologically bereft world had never seen before. Yet there were those who sought still more. These restless souls demanded we look to the southeast for the advanced technology that was supposedly housed there. Captain Maxon warned these impetuous youths that the research facility was doubtlessly destroyed when we were spared, but they would not hear his words. They took their sanctified armour and headed off to find their holy grail, but not before they spoke the Deliverer's name in vain, questioning his very bravery. These men were never heard from. Again, that's because they all died in the flippin' glow. Idiots. You should listen to your leaders, you know, occasionally. <laughs> right, okay, so Captain Roger Maxon, who, um... Again, I, I, I think it's a, a relative of the current Maxon, although we don't know the current Maxon's first name, um, to be fair. But uh, it's not possible he's over 100 years old. Not looking like he looks. He'd be, in a, he'd be like in a chair. Like, uh, not walking about, strutting and talking and giving me back, you know, give it say back chat, but you know being sassy with me, uh, doesn't strike me as someone that's over a hundred years old. Uh, right. Unless he's got some kind of mutation stuff going on. and You never know, do you? Right, okay. So in here we spoke with this guy, but we didn't speak with this guy. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like bits of power armor on the table. Stuff. Is there stuff that we can actually pick up from here? No. What about here? Power armor bits. Oh, power armor parts, yeah. <laughs> Can't pick them up though, it's a shame. Ah, so you're the one, huh? Yes, I am, Neo. <laughs> uh, what? Nothing, it's just that no one has ever made it back from the Ancient Order. Then why did they send me down there? I wonder. Haha, <laughs> I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, the joke's on them. <laughs> well, the only reason I joined was to get some power armor. That is part of the reason. Clearly. But not the whole reason. You know, it's the whole order, it's the technology, it's 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 being part of something that's a lot more exciting than being stuck in a vault. This is the most excited Bob has been, and it's not just the concept of power armor that's getting him all of a, you know, quiver. Yeah. Anyway, what do you do here? I fix stuff, run maintenance checks, that sort of crap, kind of stuff. Power armor. And anything else that needs fixing. Bob leaning closer, looking around. What? How can I get my hands on some power armor? Well, I give you this power armor right here, but it's missing its systolic motivator. It's useless without it. 
systolic motivator. Where could someone get a systolic motivator? Well, they've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn forms say that this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. What do you mean, not up to specs? I mean, I'm not an expert, but it, it doesn't look too shabby to me, apart from, it, apart from the fact it's in bits. You see this eyepiece right here? I had to resolder it in place, and it don't look as pretty as it needs to, for inspection, I guess. Hang on a second. I don't know your name, but hang on a second here. You're telling me that this power armor has got an eyepiece that's got a bit of solder on it, so it doesn't look the part? But apart from that, and the fact it's basically the systolic summit or other, it's fully functional, fully operational, and would offer full protection to the wearer. Let's just say then, if I bought you a systolic motivator, could you fix it for me? I mean, if it's going to be going to waste anyway, and I am going to be helping out the Brotherhood, Going to the hub looking for lost initiates? Shouldn't I be afforded the best protection possible? Well, 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 well. Wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple of hours. I'd loan you a, a, a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Look, Bob is good at repair. He's not excellent at repair, but he's good. Hopefully good is good enough. Right. I don't think Michael's giving us a systolic motivator, but you never know. So just in case, Bob asking, uh, besides Michael, where else could you get one of these things? Rhombus? He's got a couple of them, but I wouldn't ask him though. Only the honoured are supposed to wear these here power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Yeah, he strikes me as the kind of guy that's, that would get an unnatural attachment to a suit of power armor. And I, I'm certainly not asking Rhombus for a systolic motivator. He looks very miserable. Michael, on the other hand, hmm, very much a by the form kind of guy, but could be a lot more pliable. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I look in these cupboards, do you? Just in case there's a systolic motivator lying around, you never know, do you? So basically, if we can get a systolic motivator and return it here and return here with it. It sounds like if we can actually repair this uh, power armor with um, a repair repairability of 65%, which is not shabby, we actually might get a might get a power armor suit without even having to leave the base. I mean, we would still be doing the hub quest because we haven't just come. As I said before, we haven't just come here for the power armor. We've come here for the Brotherhood to see if we can make good impressions progress through the ranks so we will still do the hub quest next but we will have the power armor which is our first uh, piece of the plan for taking down the death claws taking down the death claws like it's going to be a piece of cake yeah our next level up I'm hoping to get our next level up before we fight the death claws because in our very next level up we're pumping every single point into small guns. We're going to need our small gun skill to be exemplary as possible to take down those things. We want to be able to pick a death claw up from a hundred paces with a sniper rifle. So we need lots of small gun ability. <clears throat> In fact, technically speaking, I should have done that in the last level up rather than spreading my points out. I should have really gone for a, a whole plethora of uh, small gun skill. And of course, we can't use small gun manuals now either because we can't, you can't use manuals above 100%. I think these were locked, weren't they, last time we came here? 
Oh no, they're open. This isn't your room. This is my room. Please leave. So sorry. Are you lost? Well, these are just... These are just dorms. Hello. Oh, he's a bit friendly. I haven't seen you before. Because I'm new. I'm new and I'm nosy. Initiate rooming is on the second level. Thanks very much. Okay, so I'm a lot more content now that we have explored everything. Spoke to everybody, touched every computer here, certainly. And, of course, this. If we had not um, come back for a, a proper look around here, A, we would not have got that mission from the Elders, and B, we would not have, <laughs> would not have come across this little scenario. Which... Uh, I can sense Bob's hands shaking with excitement. This is running to get towards Michael. What's the, wait, what's the, he's like, what's the rush? <laughs> I've never seen you move so quick, Bob. No, no reason, no reason. No reason whatsoever. Right, this is a classroom. Let's press every, let's press every button. <laughs> let's press every computer button here. Let's interrupt the class. I'm still undecided about the whole agility thing. Agility, um, operation, but I think, as I kind of said yesterday, well, today, but when this goes up it'll be yesterday, um, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> that extra agility point is going to be very much needed against, um, well, not just the death clause, but going forward, it gives us that option for for two attacks with weapons that only cost five AP to shoot. That is a significant um, thing to to be able to do. So these doors were all locked, if I can remember correct. No, well, that was ours, but these ones that weren't ours were all locked. So. I didn't actually check the uh, the lockers here, or the foot lockers, just in case that there were some, I don't know, initiate supplies in them, you know. Hello, Jerry. Bye-bye, Jerry. And before we take on any death claws, what we also need to ensure that we've got is a crap ton of as many as possible that we have seen. Oh, there is some stuff in here. Um, oh. Okay. This always gets my goat, this situation. We knew this. Oh, yeah, of course, because we picked up the armor, didn't we? Which put us over. Well, we've actually got 140 of these already. Well, that case, we're not going to stress about it. When we get to the hub, we're going to sell as much of the stuff that we can. The high level stuff, the high level, but the high, really like 5,000 coin worth of stuff, we can't sell. We're going to sell that to the guy down in the, down in the, um, the boneyard, the, 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 the trader down there. But, uh, the, 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 the hunting rifles and the assault rifles and all the other kind of plethora of stuff, uh, we'll sell those in the hub. And we're looking for the initiate. But I think even the, the, the Brotherhood armor that we've picked up is probably going to be even too expensive, really, uh, to, to be traded. Unless we trade it for those super stim packs. Which seems like a viable option. Right, level one. This is a moment of truth. This is the only level that we actually explored properly. Um, apart from the fact that we can't get in here. Senior Paladins, Senior Paladins, Senior Scribes. None of them are named though, so... But this is the guy that we need to speak to. This is Michael, the... Quartermaster requisi Requisitionist, whatever you want to call him. 
Systolic motivator. <laughs> Get out of my way. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking for a systolic motivator. Do you have the proper authorization? Um, now we've got to say we've got to either be very confident or tell the truth. Kyle sending us sending us, I don't think is the proper authorization. Somehow. So, uh, it, yes, I was sent here to get a systolic motivator. Bob's it's like a white lie here. But he lied upstairs to the guy when he said, and he said, oh yeah, I've got the stuff. And he's like, don't lie to me. Sorry, thought I'd try it on. Bob's a bit of a chancer, it seems. Probably a bad liar though. Charisma of four after all. Gotta try it. Let me look here. I don't see a request for a systolic motivator. You need to get the proper authorization. Okay, now look, a bit threatening, a bit beg a bit of pleading, giving up at this option, at this venture. Not the first time of asking. You don't. Or whenever there's a long option. It's probably the best one. <laughs> you don't? Oh. Ordinance was supposed to send one down yesterday. I only arrived today. We'll gloss over that a bit. We slept. We've slept overnight in the in the dorm. Uh, look, can you help me out? Look, if I don't get this part, it's going to be my ass. I'm new here. I don't know whether I've been sent here for a test, but I cannot afford to screw this up on my second day. Please, I I'm sure the form will arrive later today. <laughs> Bob, you were lying swine. Oh! Okay, 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 here you go, look. Just don't tell anyone that I gave this to you. Rhombus would have my head if he knew I had given the parts out without proper authorization. Mum's the word, Michael. I owe you one. Cheers and bye. Oh, hang on, folks. Hang on a second. Bob, you might have just pulled a blinder. We have got ourselves a small piece of machinery that is a systolic motivator. Ian, don't even don't even wait there. Turn your heels and run. Run, run. Where's 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 Morgan? I've not seen Morgan for a while. Oh he's there. He's there. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's pulled a fast one as our bloody Bob here. Uh, level three, was it? Or was it level two? Oh, it's level three, it's level three. How could we forget? Bob certainly didn't. Oh, 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 step aside, step aside, people! Coming through, coming through! Hello, were you able to get that part? Uh, yes, but I'll hold on to it for a little while. For what reason? Here it is. Yes, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Great. Here, just let me install this into the unit. Okay, you're all set to go. Here, take this manual. If you have any kind of aptitude with repairing things, you should have no problem. Good luck. Oh, my God. Manual? What manual have you given me here? Oh, Dean's Electronics. Oh, we'll take that. Even more repair skill. Perfect. You'll learn even more about repair. What's my repair skill now? It was 60-something. 60 68%. I think it was 65. Not giving us the right lot, has it? But anyway, look, every little helps. How do we do this? Do we have to click repair? I think we have to click repair. You failed to repair the armor. Oh, no. Hopefully we can get multiple tries of this. It is obvious that you do not yet have the skill to repair this. Get out of town. What? 68%? 
No! Uh, what, what skill level do we need to repair it? Oh, Bob, you useless clown! So we're going to have to go to the hub, to the library, where the woman is a rip-off merchant, to buy every single Dean's Electronics book that she's possibly got. Oh, but what le- oh, I'm- that is oh, I'm- oh, I'm horrified. Bob is ho Bob is horrified. Bob is so deflated. Obviously, you do not have the skill to repair this, so it's- yeah, it's not a- a percentage chance we- I bet it's a- I bet you anything. I bet you anything the cutoff is 70% skill. I bet you anything. I mean, literally, it doesn't make a massive difference. Because we were going to the hub anyway, next. So we can go to the hub now and find the initiate, sell some stuff, get some books, come back. It's not a massive issue. But it would have been so cool for Bob to be able to strut into the hub in his new suit of armour. Hi guys. Initiate of the Brotherhood here. Just on official business. If you don't mind, I need information. Oh, that's all. I'm, I'm. Oh, but you know what the saying is: good things come to those who wait. Bob, you're gonna have to practice your patience. Practice your patience. This armor will be worth the waiting. Unless, of course, we can get that armor after we've done this quest, rather than us doing it and repairing it ourselves. If we finish the quest, find the initiate, Michael might give the authority for him to actually fix it for us. Maybe. Because again, I'm just kind of metagaming it a little bit, thinking about it, but um, what if you've got no repair skill? Because you've not put any, any, any skill points into it. There must still be a way to get the power armor in, the, in this game without having a repair skill. I would have thought so I kind of feel like this initiate quest could be the alternative way to get it. Whereas if you had a high repair skill, you could get it sooner and without doing that quest, for example. It makes no difference, because I'm going to do the quest anyway, regardless if I had the power armor or not. Uh, but I kind of just get that sense that this was a kind of a shortcut or an alternative way, perhaps, to get the armor. If we didn't want to help the Brotherhood out, for example. Uh, but anyway... That's me just thinking out loud as a game player. Bob has not got a clue what I'm talking about, of course. It's just like, well... Damn it. I don't have the required... I can't fix it. Although, technically speaking, he did say about the fact that if we come back, he will give us the, 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 the more technological stock. So Bob would still come to the conclusion that maybe just maybe we might get, if not that broken piece of power armor with an eye patch, with an eyepiece you know, f soldered on, uh, we might get a, an official, proper-looking, spick-and-span version. You never know, do you? As a reward. So, um, yeah. We are now at 40 minutes, which is perfect timing, really, because we are now leaving the facility. And uh, the date is the 22nd of March. And we are heading to the hub to look for a chappy whose name we don't actually know, I, I, I believe. We don't think we know his name. But an initiate of the Brotherhood. If an initiate of the Brotherhood has been anywhere near the hub recently, it'll have stood out like a sore thumb. So this hopefully shouldn't be too difficult to find him. We are prepped. We've got stim packs. We've got sniper rifle. We've got guns, bullets, and more guns, and holotapes too. We could have left the holotapes behind in the chest. But anyway, it is what it is. So, folks, I'll do a second video uh, tomorrow after work, and then get both videos up for you guys. But just in case something happens after work and I can't do that, I'll sign off officially here. Thanks for watching as, uh, as Bob 
that's finished in the, the Brotherhood compound for now. To the hub we go. When I start my recording of the next video, by the way, you might find me already in the hub, just because I've got a lot of stuff to trade and I won't subject you to all the inventory mini game that I subjected you to in the stream. So I'll get all the selling done that I can first upon arrival and then when I start looking and speaking to people about the initiate, that's when I'll start the recording. Have a good one and until next time, which might be shortly in fact, I'll see you soon.